that's a good one. That's another good fish right there. All right, the audio might be a little tough in this video since the wind was absolutely ripping. So I wanted to do a quick voice intro. As you can see, I was fishing in some pretty stormy conditions. We had about four solid days of winds over 25 miles an hour and it kicked up some pretty big surf. This time of year, that leads to some great striper fishing. A lot of times these storms will push a big body of fish close to shore, and that's exactly what happened here. When I first walked down, I didn't see any birds working or anything like that, just the water looked really juicy. It was pretty clean despite all the surf, and there was some really good white water. So I decided to go down and throw out a really heavy popper just so I could get out as far as possible, because sometimes these fish are close to shore, but just a little further out, you know what I mean? Sometimes I don't hug the rock. So I really wanted to get this lure as far out as possible. I started off with a heavy talking popper and then it ended up working for me. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's the only lure I ended up using on this trip. I'm sticking with a talking popper today. One, because it's heavy and I can cast it out far. And two, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. This water's kind of weedy. I'm seeing a lot of red tide in the waves. So I know if I throw some kind of swimmer, I'm just gonna get smoked by seaweed. But it's definitely fishy. There's no denying that. That was a great cast. Hooked up, baby. Sorry, I missed the hook set. Just had a bass blow up on this top water. Good bite, man. Just gotta be careful. I got an incoming tide, so this is gonna start to get pretty nasty. I think I'm gonna land them right through here. I got a pretty good avenue. It's a little striper. There you go. Come through here, bud. It's not a bad bass take that that's definitely a slot I would say nice smoked this uh, talking popper it's a good little fish right here wish I had my pliers that was dumb Not a bad fish right here, I would say about slot keeper size. Give him a little revive in here. Oh, he's already kicking off. Come on, baby. There he goes. It's tough, man, because like a hundred yards out, I see birds going crazy. So they're definitely feeding way out there. I just obviously can't hit them. But I just did get one fish, so I know at least a couple are in the area. I'm hoping that pushes in, but kind of have to wait and see. Yeah, those birds push way the hell out. And I've thrown probably upwards of 50 casts, probably more. Got that one fish, which was a decent bass, but I can't get anything else. So I'm probably going to do a few more here than kind of start bouncing around. Honestly, this time of year, it is worth driving around and looking for activity just in a bunch of different spots because odds are in October, there's going to be a blitz somewhere. You know what I mean? Especially with, oh, I'm tight. I'm tight. As I was just blabbing like a knucklehead to myself. Oh, baby. Let's go. Nice, man. Had a good little run. Feels like she's got a little way to her, man. <laughs> okay, maybe I will stay here. Oh yeah. This is back to my roots, baby. I grew up shore fishing. You know, and lately I've transitioned to a lot of kayak fishing, which I love, don't get me wrong, but man, I love pounding them from the rocks like this. I think this one's a better one than that first one. Just take your time, keep the line tight. 
let her run when she wants to run. No need to horse these fish in. Just keep the line tight. Where is this guy going? I kind of need him to swing left. This is my little avenue to land him. Oh, that's not a bad fish. I just saw the tail. It's a nice little broom tail. That's a decent bass, man. That's a decent bass. Come on, swing left. That's when it starts to get a little tricky. But I got a good little avenue on my left. If she would just go left. Come on, left, 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 left. I might just have to go straight out and get her. I think I'm gonna have to go straight out. Come on, baby, work with me here. That's a good fish. That's a good fish, man. There we go. Perfect. Oh yeah. Let's go. That's a great bass. That's a solid bass right there, baby. <laughs> oh man, let's go. Yeah, that's a better bass right here, man. I would say uh, over slot fish. I don't really have any tape or anything. All right. Got the, ah, she just got me good. She's fired up. Got the hook out of her. Oh, that's a nice bass from the rocks right there, baby. Nice bass. Find a good spot to revive her. Oh. She's already kicking. There she goes. There we go. There's another one. Nice. He hit it pretty close to the rocks. Let's go, baby. I'm on a good little bite right now. Oh yeah, they're fired up. Yeah, that guy hit it really close to shore, so he might, uh... You might be running. Damn. This might be a bigger fish than I thought. I thought it was a smaller fish because it hit close. Sorry for the lack of commentary, I'm pretty focused right now. Nah, he's going way left. Yeah, sorry, it took me way right. Decent one too. That's a good one. <laughs> That's another good fish. Fuck. Help me out of the way. Alright. Yeah, that's a good one. That's another good fish right there. There we go. Another good fish, dude. Hooked him perfectly. Hooked him 
perfectly. Ah, it's probably another overslot, I would say. They're freaking fired up, dude. Oh, he's already kicking. Come on, baby. There he goes. Nice, man. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, one just went for it. Swing and miss. I watched him blow up on it. Oh, swing and a miss, dude. There's two swings and misses. My adrenaline is through the roof right now. My commentary is probably going to suck. There we go. Tight. Knew that was going to happen. Oh, he's off. Come on, man. Three swings and misses in a row. I'll get one here. Oh, another swing and a miss. Have another fish right now. Huh. There we go. Tight. This is a smaller fish, definitely. Oh, it's hard to tell with all these waves. too bad man because I had like a couple swings and misses before this fish and I saw those fish jump out of the water they were pretty freaking big this one seems like a smaller one of the group it's coming in this little alley not as big as the last two but still a good fish man I choked it dude damn he really choked it. That sucks. Ah, oh, he might be getting capped. Well, I tried my best with this guy, but he's really bloody. Bigger. I saw his tail come out. Ah, I might be mistaken. He's coming in pretty easy. He's taking me on the rocks. Come on in, buddy. Yeah, a little guy compared to the other ones, but... This bite is insane, so beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, I'd say a slot keeper. Hooked him perfectly this time. Yeah, these fish are freaking fired up, man. Hooked him perfectly. A lot smaller than the other couple guys I got, but Get him back in. And he's off. Yeah, man, I think this is just gonna be like every cast. When you catch a lot of fish like this and they're kind of rubbing you up on rocks, 
Definitely take the time to check your leader and your line. Make sure you're not frayed up. I think I'm looking pretty good. Cause that's the last thing you want to do is break your line on a tank of a striper. jump out of the water right now. Oh, he has me on a rock right now. I can feel him rubbing me up on a rock. This is not good. Okay, I think he just popped out. No, I still feel my line rubbing on a rock right now. Okay, now he's out. That was sketchy for a sec. I don't know, man. I might have this fish hooked on the side or something. Cause he just feels ridiculously heavy. And he hasn't really taken any runs. My arm is getting tired, dude. <laughs> Absolutely tiny. Hello. Absolutely tiny to what I've been catching. I'm just giving them a quick drop. Should be good. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna back up a little bit. I did not like that wave. The tide's coming in too. All right, well, as the day progressed, the bite died off. I went a while without catching fish and started to bounce around in different spots, but I had an incoming tide, and with that incoming tide, the waves seemed to get bigger and bigger, and it got kind of sketchy out there, so, you know, with the lack of fish and the big waves getting closer to me, I decided to call it a trip, but yeah, definitely recommend fishing those stormy days. I mean, as tempting as it is to have a nice stay-at-home day when it's rainy and windy out, it can lead to a really good striped bass bite, so hope you guys enjoyed watching, and uh, catch you on the next one.